say it yeah. a bunch of times until I hear him laugh on the other line, and if I can make him laugh at something he wrote, yeah. You're then, good. I, then I won, yeah, totally. Has there been anything that you've read in the script that you just couldn't believe that they did? What surprised you the most? What episode? I am a stand up comedian, and I also ran a writer's room. I talked to. There's nothing that shocks me. Um, I've spoken, I've talked about poop for hours with other people. So, um, uh, yeah, no, nothing has that shocked me in the sense of like, I can't say this or I can't do this. But uh, definitely stuff that I was like, I don't know if we're gonna, how are we going to get away with this. There have been those. But I think like season one, actually the very first season, the very first episode, I'm sorry, the very first episode, uh, Adam and I got in a, not an argument, but like a semantic discussion about what a, a what was funnier, ball slappiest or ball slappinest. And we had like a 20 minute conversation about it. And I was like, yeah, this is pretty much like the TV show I want to make for the rest of my life. <laughs> so um, there was an episode, there was, a, there was an ad for the show in season one where Archer is smoking next to a pregnant woman and she says, do you mind? And he says, maybe after you have the baby if you're not all stretched out. And I was like, wow, that was pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty hardcore. Uh, but, uh, but other than that, no, no, the show was delightful and I wish we were there here. How'd you get into voiceover? I was just approached. I mean, um, I don't know how Adam knew me other than he just knew me as a comedian and as a comedic actress, but um, I just was sent this script and asked if I wanted to do it. And you're like, why not? It sounds really fun. I read the script and it was hilarious. That was it. I mean, I read 10 pages of the script. It was really, really funny. It was really mature. It was a combination of really erudite, thoughtful, literary, and disgustingly dirty, and that was the selling point for me. Perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> and I've been offered other animated stuff. I don't... I don't know. I don't do anything just because it's a job. You know what I mean? This is a specific show and a specific character and a specific approach to comedy that is really very close to the way that I approach comedy. Um, and whenever people go, what's your stand-up going to be like? I'm like, if you watch Archer, you know what kind of comedy I do. It's, it's really that. It's a very similar kind of adult, smart, thoughtful, mature, you know, approach to making people laugh. And um, so, yeah, I've been offered a lot of other animated shows that I haven't done. But this and also The Boondocks, which is another really, really smart, dirty show. I don't know why I keep saying dirty, but you know what? I'm a grown-up and I can't, so, <laughs> yeah. Do you love it? Is your character like dirty? No, I mean, it's a pretty perfect show when we get it. You know, sometimes I pitch stuff. Sometimes I pitch lines. He's really playful, so he'll say, why don't you take, do you have anything you want to pitch here? I'll say, can I try something? But generally, the scripts are great when they come. So, um, we don't do a lot of pitching. But he will just say, hey, you want to fuck around a little bit? And then we'll do that. Uh, yeah. All right. This is going to really enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We're always paranoid that they're going to be like, all right, they're taking they it. Kind of so it's like, yeah, they kind of are. Oh, yeah. Okay, one more? Oh. But, if you don't, but if you don't have one more, I don't want to push you. I don't want to get a little pressure. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you.